three three stack nickel three three stack might go down as one of the best defenses in college football 25 this defense has a lot to offer it does a lot of things really well there's a lot of different ways in which you can craft pressure from it i'm going to show you what i think is the best in this video so this is lb blitz zero and what we're going to be doing with this is we are going to create kind of a unique little look here now if you want to get my full breakdown on this defense it is in our school community School community school.com slash Cody Ballard. Ten dollars gets you access to not just this defense, but all of our defensive and offensive ebooks for both college football and for Madden, as well as all of the updates. So far in college football 25, we've dropped over 10 different schemes for you on the site to help you get better at the game. So if you want to check that out, that link's gonna be in the description. The setup for this is we're going to spread our defensive line. And we are going to crash our defensive line or slant them inside. So as you see here, we're just going to slant them inside. Now, really, really important, you are going to globally blitz all of your linebackers. This is going to change the blitz angle that they're on. And you're just going to slide them out. You're not going to contain. You're just going to slide them outside. The key is not containing here. And what you're going to see is this is going to absolutely scream off that edge. You're going to get this nice loop pressure. Super, super effective. Now, one of the things, if you want to do this, you certainly can, uh, but I personally think it's easiest just to move these guys out, and you want to kind of move them out and down, like you want them on the hips, uh, but the cool part about this is we get this really wide alignment that is really, really, really advantageous for pressure. It's really good for blitzing, is what I'm trying to say. So, you'll see here again, just spread line, crash down, blitz your linebackers, and then you're just going to individually slide these guys way out here, and the wider you get these linebackers the better the blitz is going to come in off both edges so normally it's going to come on come in off of at least one edge but the reason you want it to come off of both edges is let's say that your opponent blocks their tight end for example if we can get this guy out here wide enough a lot of times this is going to come in off both edges which means a block tight end is not going to block the blitz as you see right here he loops around and we kind of get a passive rush now, I'm going to show you, or I'm going to sub in a player that I do think is going to make a little bit of a difference. It might not make a wholesale difference, uh, but it will make a little bit of a difference. If we sub in uh, linebackers on this on this defense here with the quick jump ability, quick jump ability is really the best ability in the game. You'll see that this can potentially uh, take this blitz to another level. I'm also going to shift formations. And the only reason I'm going to do that, let's see, if they, do they have a five out play? Yeah, uh, it's just so that tight end's a, a little bit more base aligned here for us. But we'll just slide these guys out. Again, the wider you get them, the better. And you'll see they'll just get a better jump off the ball, which oftentimes is, is going to help this blitz come in faster. So you see there, that's a, that's a screamer. That's absolutely insane. I think this is one of the best blitzes in the game. Now, uh, we're going to block the tight end for you, and then we'll talk about blocking the running back. And again, we're just walking these guys off of the edges once we kind of spread them. We spread and globally blitz them. I'll put the setup down below, too. And you see, I mean, we just walk right in off the edge. Now, let's say, you know, you're watching this video, you're like, okay, that's cool, but what if they, what if they, um, you know, block the running back? You know, how does the blitz, how does the blitz work if they block the running back? Again, the key to the defense, guys, is to uh, really spread these guys. And you see, it screams off the other side. So they're going to have to literally max protect to be able to properly block this blitz, which is what makes this so good. Um, it's what makes this defense so good. This is probably my favorite pass defense in the game right now it's 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 okay it's actually not terrible against the run if you want this blitz to be better against the run i'm going to give you an, a little bit of a defense so let's say they do come out and they're running the ball on you just simply pinch your defensive line and pinch your linebackers by doing this simple thing and then crash down um this defense right here it's really hard to run on it's really really hard to run on this defense like if they run into this you'll see here let me see if i can i have a run play here yeah so like if they run into this look like, they're going to be bagged. So this defense is super good. And, again, it's a simple setup. Just spread your line, blitz your linebackers, and then you're going to really move. I would really exaggerate how much you get them outside. I think that's the real key to the defense is getting these linebackers outside so that the defensive ends can kind of engage with the tackles first, which is going to open up that pressure. And, I mean, you see this thing is absolutely screaming. Nickel 3-3 stack. If you want to check out the full defensive ebook, I'm going to be dropping this ebook in our school site. We already have kind of a mini screen breakdown that explains this a little bit more in depth, as well as kind of shows what we can do from coverage perspectives, run defense, and all that stuff. But if you want to check all that stuff out, that link is in the description.